They were out here in Times Square like food trucks, but selling a different type of edible. It's a business now up in smoke. Police towed and seized more than a dozen illegal weed trucks from this area Tuesday morning. Chief John Shell led the operation. These vehicles are seized are an illegal vendor. They do that deals in food and they don't have a license for that. It's part of the quality of life crackdown where the department's new community response teams or CRTs are acting on community complaints, going after the kinds of crimes that may lead to more serious crimes, including violence. We've been attacking the biggest complaints we're getting, uh, ATVs, illegal peddlers, unlicensed cars and vehicles with paper plates. So we've been going after that to help the quality of life. From illegal ATVs selling counterfeit items on the streets to turnstile jumping, the department believes these crimes are precursors to violence. And some New Yorkers agree. We got to try something and see if it really works. But as of right now, you know, it's just, it's hard to tell. I think that they should try it because they used to do it the other way where they ignored all the little crimes that happened and um, it didn't help. Since announcing the plan in March, the department sees more than 8,000 illegal ATVs and other illegal vehicles. The chief tells PIX11 this is only the beginning. Get the proper license, registration, file the rules, and you can join a business community in the city like anybody else. While weed is legal in the city, the city and state have not issued any retail licensing. In the meantime, the owners of those trucks, well, they will be able to get their trucks back once they go to court.